Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Monday, November the 7th, 2022, and last time to say it, but it feels so good. The home of the world champion Houston Astros. Woohoo! It is good to see you this morning. We're in Psalm 128, verses 5 and 6, and the title of this morning's Breakfast Biscuit is Ain't That Fine? Ain't That Fine? And what are we talking about? We're talking about the blessings of God that he bestows upon his children. These three that are mentioned here this morning are especially meaningful and powerful, and I want to point them out to you this morning. And then I've got a, a techno challenge. I hope I can pull this off. I hope you'll be patient with me for a minute. It's really going to be worth it if I, if I say so myself. So Psalm 128, 5 and 6 says this, May the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren, and may Israel have peace. One more time. May the Lord continually bless you from Zion, which is Jerusalem, the footstool of God on the earth. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren, <clears throat> and may Israel have peace. The Lord has taught me a lot of things. I got a lot left to learn. I know that, but he's taught me a lot. Uh, in however long I've been at this, uh, about his blessing. And here's what I can tell you. The favor of God, the blessing of God on your life and in your life is worth more than anything, all caps. It's worth more than anything else. And God's favor, if it is distinct from his blessing, is a very close second, but I prefer to think that the blessing and favor from him are two sides of the same coin. <clears throat> Zion was the footstool of God on the earth uh, and the epicenter of his activity with his people in the Old Testament. And the psalmist gives us three prayers in these two verses. Number one, may you, may I, may we see Jerusalem, the footstool of God on the earth, the kingship of God among us. May we see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. Number two, <clears throat> may Israel the people of God, have peace. Peace with God, peace with each other, and peace with those around them. And may you live to enjoy your grandchildren. Now, there are three uh, interpretations, three things that we'd put into modern-day language about that. Number one, uh, if we're going to translate it into things that are meaningful for those of us that live on this side of the pond in the United States, number one, may the kingdom of God prevail in you. May the kingdom of God prevail in you. Number two, May God's hand of protection be upon you. Number three, <clears throat> may you have this blessing, grandchildren, and all that goes with it. May you live to see them, may you live to pray for them, and may you live to be a meaningful part of forming the character of Christ in them. So, you ready? Here comes the techno challenge. I think I can pull this off. Uh, <clears throat> This would be kids and grandkids. Can you see that? Is that not adorable? And then one more, and I promise I'll quit. You ready? This is gonna knock you off, off your chair. Huh? That's little Parker, and I got to see her for the second time last night uh, since she has been in the world, and uh, I'm gonna be making up for lost time. She is adorable. And I want to tell you this, God has already thought of things that you will never think of. And I knew grandchildren from many of you telling me how wonderful yours were. I knew that grandchildren were going to be a great blessing, but you just can't fathom it until it happens. So listen to what the psalmist teaches us to pray. May the kingdom of God prevail in us. May God's hand of protection be upon us. And may we have this blessing one that we can't understand until we have it, grandchildren, and all that goes with it. Why? That we might live to see them, that we might live to pray for them, and that we might live to be a meaningful part of forming the character of Christ in them. And they're so pretty. I guess it's genetic. Let me pray for you. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for teaching us to pray for things that we probably wouldn't think of until it comes to be that stage in life for us. But God, you have this thing figured out. You know what blessings look like before we are formed in the womb, as we are born into this world, as we grow in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord, 
as we become adults, as we marry, as we have children and ultimately grandchildren, you know what life uh, looks like and you know how to bless it. And God, we ask you for that today. Let us not resist you, quench your spirit or grieve your spirit, but God, let your plan unfold in us and may your hand of blessing be upon us at every stage of life. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' mighty, powerful, wonderful name. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.